Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making something super tasty. We are making Korean style beef tacos with kimchi. And this kimchi, this recipe you can get, it's one of my bootleg tips, so you get the recipe there. Let's get prepping and we're gonna make something yummy. This is a short rib that gets cut up. I like to buy it already cut up so I don't have to worry about it. Not much more expensive than regular beef. But you can use chicken, you can use fish, you can use shrimp, you could use anything that you want to to fill your yummy tacos with. I do a basic kalbi marinade, a little bit of sesame seed oil, well, it's like two tablespoons, just a tad bit of soy, and sometimes I'll add sugar to it. Today we're not going to, but we're gonna add tons of garlic key to Korean barbecue, garlic, 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 garlic. I think that's the key to all Korean food. We always have amazing breath. Get it nice. Inside, and we'll do one more. And it's just amazing how easy this recipe is because once I had that meat marinated, and sure, you can let your meat marinate for, I don't know, half an hour, two days, 24 hours, but the bottom line is, once I get all this inside, we're gonna give it a nice, lovely toss, and we're gonna go right to the stove. Tacos in minutes. There we go. Hands are always the best way of mixing meat. And basically, that really is it. We're gonna get to the stove in just two seconds. I'm ready to go at the stove. I have my corn tortillas, and there's a little trick here, um, but I will show you that once I get my beef in the pan. Sizzle. Tortillas, corn specifically, have a tendency to be dry. As you see when you pull over the brakes and pan. I get it in the pan first, I do a little dousing of water, get in the pan and it steams and cooks the tortilla to make it nice and suave, soft. See the steam coming off that bad boy? That's what I'm talking about. My beef is gonna be done in two minutes, and in the mix, look at that. It's a new little trick everyone should know. This is called speed cooking, back and forth, forth and back. I have to say, when you get your meat pre-cut, everything pre-cut, it might cost you a couple more pennies, but trust me, at the end of the day, when you're tired or you're hungry, when you cook, it makes your life so much easier. And it's simple, and you're done in like five minutes. Two more minutes, and we're done. Beef is done, tortillas are nice and soft. We're ready to start making tacos. We got our kimchi, our tortillas. We're gonna layer them out. One, dos, tres. Get some beef. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Smells so good. I can't stand myself. Here we go, kimchi. Lovely, delicious kimchi. And for you people who don't like kimchi or don't have the time to make it, but I suggest that you do, you can always put anything else on top. A little lettuce, a little cabbage, a little cabbage salad, lime juice, cilantro, it'll work. But there's nothing like eating a piece of Korean barbecue with kimchi. Here we go. This is Korean barbecue beef taco with the kimchi slaw, which is super delicious. And now I have to eat it. I just have to. There we go. Mm hmm. Tender beef, sesame seed oil, soy sauce, really moist, yum yummy. Tortillas, spicy fermented cabbage kimchi. This is so good. I mean, I wanted to sit here and stop talking and eat this whole thing. My cat, because I'm gonna to talk to you for two seconds. Don't forget to subscribe. You get amazing recipes like this, fun with a twist, and I will see you next week with a new recipe. Ciao. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today's bootleg tip is how to make kimchi. It's a fermented cabbage, specifically Napa cabbage, but you can ferment any type of vegetable for kimchi.